Let's talk a little bit about Logan Allen. Um, got the start today. Um, what have you seen with uh, Logan Allen as he continues to try to figure things out down at AAA? Well, some good things and some inconsistency. Uh, today in his start, he went the first four innings, did not allow a base hit. He walked back-to-back -back batters at the third, but escaped without any damage and then pitched a clean fourth inning as well. The fifth, things started to spiral on him a little bit, and he allowed four runs in that frame, and it, it just kind of got out of control a little. And, you know, you'll see that from time to time, but I think there are some positives for him to take from the ball game. And, and that's really what it's about right now. He started the year, obviously, up with the Cleveland Indians, had some success, but uh, a lot of rough time on the hill, which is why he was sent down to try and figure some things out. I think this start had more positives than his first start. He went just an inning and two-thirds against Louisville, so uh, made it into the fifth inning today, made some really good pitches. The tight strike zone at times didn't help him, but as a pitcher, you have to be able to overcome that and, and battle with it a little bit. So... Hopefully, this is a step in the right direction for him, and when his turn comes around again, he will make more strides in the right direction because the Cleveland Indians want him to succeed and get back to the major leagues and help out that rotation. The one thing that, um, that he admitted, you know, in, after his last start and, and heading down there, he needed to locate his fastball a little bit. Have you, have you started to see that come around a little bit? More so in the second start than in the first. I think he had a little bit better success with the fastball. He threw some good breaking pitches as well. There were some really, you know, it, it's always been the case with Logan, and, and we haven't seen a ton of him. When he came over after the trade, he was with the Clippers for only a partial season, and uh, then, of course, 2020, we didn't get to see him at all. But you see what the Cleveland Indians like. When he executes his pitches, you think, man, that's – that's big league stuff right there. So it's just a matter of doing it on a more consistent basis. So yeah, there were there were strides today in in a, a little bit better command and and his mix of pitches as well. Yeah, that, that's the one thing you know the and, and he he understands it. So you know it's not like he doesn't know what he has to do. He, he knows what he's working on. He's got four pitches that when they play in the strike zone, he can be he can be as good um, a left-handed pitcher as Indians had in, in a long long while. The, as you mentioned, though, he goes through stretches where he just can't command it in the strike zone. Yeah, it's certainly not uncommon. I remember a guy back in the uh, early 2010s that pitched for the Clippers who would go out there and throw three or four innings, strike out seven to ten guys, and have an inning where everything just blew apart for him. Um, and he worked on some things. He and Ruben Niebla went down underneath uh, during the tunnel one day during a rain delay and developed a, a cut fastball. And the next thing you know, Corey Kluber's in the major leagues doing really good things. Now, is Logan Allen the next Corey Kluber? I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is, uh, you know, these guys sometimes take some time to develop. And he's still a young player. So there's plenty of time for him to find that whether it's one particular pitch that he can master and pitch off of or just maybe slow things down a little bit and fine-tune his command. So, you know, you don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater just yet on Logan Allen. I don't think you've seen the last of him, certainly, in the major leagues.